Justin here again, and welcome to another TLG at Home Parent Child class. So again, this class is for 10 months, all the way to 2.11 years old. So let's get started. Our theme for today is called Come to Your Senses. Now, everybody knows of our five main senses, which is the sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of smell, and sense of taste. Now, did you know that we have two other senses that are very much essential to our ability to move and function daily? What are these two? These are the proprioceptive sense, which helps us know where and how our bodies are oriented in space. And also our vestibular sense, which is mainly located in our inner ear. And this allows the brain to sense motion and uh, helps control with our balance. These two senses are very much important for your little ones to become more efficient movers. Help them out, control their bodies, and help them um, control their balance as well. All right, so today we're going to do lots of activities and skills which will help develop these two senses. So enjoy the class and just have fun this morning. All right, so before we start, okay, uh, I will be telling you what are the things that we need for today's class. We have our sticks for our group activity, and of course, the ball. Uh, for, for, for our ball time, okay? If you have um, a smaller ball or a bigger ball, no problem, okay? And we have your bubbles, your favorite bubbles for bubble time. And if you have your shakers or your bells, okay, please do bring them out, all right? But if you don't have, just clap and sing along as we uh, go sing our hello song, all right? So, uh, before we sing our hello song, what are our baby signs for you? Okay, we have up and down, okay? This is up and down. Okay, so I will be using this doll to uh, show you uh, some of the spotting techniques that we will be doing for our skills today. Alright, so are you ready? We're going to go sing our hello song. Okay, bring out your bells or your shakers or just clap along if you want. Here we go. Let's go and shake, shake, shake your bells from side to side and sing along with me. Everybody, how do you do? Pump, how do you do? Everybody, how do you do? Pump, pump. Oh, you come to Jake for my nail, get me on the rest. How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? Pump, pump. But I'm pump, pump. Let's shop one big hip hip. Hooray! Great job, everybody. All right, so we are going to start with our name activity. Now, parents, this is going to be our first stumbling activity for today, okay? So for our name activity today, we are going to do a back whoopee. Some of you might have done this before in our previous episodes. For those who are doing it for the first time, please watch me as I go spot this, okay? So don't worry, adults, if your kids are not uh, comfortable doing this, just ask, their, uh, ask for their names and ask for a high five. That is totally fine. Don't forget to praise them for the effort, okay, of trying. So watch me as I, uh, as I uh, explain the spotting technique for back of you. So this is going to be our first rotational activity. Any rotational activities will surely help with your child's vestibular system, okay? Because by doing rotational activities, you help displace, okay, the inner ear fluids, okay, which helps with their balance, okay? So, I want uh, you adults to sit like this, okay, your knees up, your kid's back will be on your shin, all right? So, four fingers will be at the back, and then your thumb will be by the chest or the tummy, right? I just want you to rock back and forth. This is gonna be a tummy workout for you too, parents. I just want you to rock back and forth, you just want, just to make them feel comfortable, all right? And we're gonna do a little chant, okay? But before that, if you feel that they're comfortable now, okay, you can go straight to a back of TV. Now, as you lie down, okay, watch out for your space. Make sure, okay, you work with the available space you have at home, okay? As you lie down, all right, I, uh, I want you to put your legs up, okay, catch the hips, and make sure that we try to land on their feet, all right? Now, watch, uh, watch your child's facial expression. Remember, that is your, uh, that is your um, signal, okay? Uh, if they're comfortable enough to do the activity, but if not, just get in, okay? So are you ready? So I'm gonna do a little chant, okay? And just follow along. Here we go. Hello, kids. How do you do? Would you like to rotate to a back whoopie do? All right. Give yourselves a big, big hand. Great job. 
up, everybody. So, okay, tell me your name. My name is Teacher Justin. And what are your names? Okay, and who's with you today? Adults, what are your names? Nice to meet you, everybody. Give yourself a big hand. Great job, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with our warm-up. So are you ready to have fun? Great job. Here we go, everybody. Okay, everybody, we're going to go start with our warm-up now. So the music will ask us to do some different about, different talking skills for today. And I will be using the doll to help you adults, okay, properly spot your kids throughout uh, these uh, activities, okay? So remember, if you're working on a hard surface, make sure you have a mat or a towel, okay? Just for safety as well, work with the space that you have. And I want you to encourage your kids to listen to the music, okay, listen to the instructions, because this will help them out develop your listening skills okay are you ready for our first skill we will be doing um, walking now for my younger kids okay we can always just do some assisted walking spot them by their upper torso or by uh, or under their elbows and parents i want you to kneel down okay be gentle with your back you don't want to strain your backs too much and um, just let them do small walks around small walks around Okay, and uh, if uh, they, for some, okay, who are already walking, feel free to just let them walk by themselves and follow me as I do the skills. Okay, are you ready? Remember, if they're not ready to do the skills or the activities, no pressure. Praise them for the effort of trying. Okay, listen to the music. Let's go and start. Time for the tumble rumble. Later, we will introduce you to some basic tumbling exercises. But first, let's go for a walk. Are you ready? You have a Again, kneel down. I want you to stay in front of your kids and make sure that they reach for the floor, okay? Hands are on the floor. Just imagine that the doll's hands are on the floor, okay? And make sure that their heads are not touching the ground, okay? Spot them by their hips. Gently lift them up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, make sure that their feet are touching the ground. And just to make it fun, Maybe you can even do some animal impersonation, okay? Try to make the sound of the donkey. Hee-haw, 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 and do your donkey kicks, okay? Now, if they're not yet ready, feel free to just let them do their uh, weight bearing, okay? Uh, on the floor, they can do their wheelbarrows, okay? Spot one arm around the chest and one arm by their waist. And just let them wait their other arms. Now, if, they're, if, they're try, if they're willing to try to do their donkey kicks, let them do so. Okay? Here we go. Let's go try it, try it out for the music. Woo! Walking, crawling, or 
carry them in a sack of potatoes. Go! Okay, so next skill is running. Okay, just like a while ago, you have an option of letting them do their, uh, their assisted walking, okay, for those who are not yet walking. And for those who are walking already, you can always just run with your kid, with your, with your, with the adult, you adults, and uh, follow teacher just as they run around, okay? Make sure that uh, you um, work with the space that you have, all right, and uh, just stay safe, okay? Here we go. Let's go run around in a big circle. Woo! during our uh, name activity, okay, with our back foot to use, we, um, whenever we do uh, rotational activities, you help them out with their vestibular system, okay, by displacing those inner ear fluids, you're helping them uh, uh, develop the, uh, the, the sense of balance, okay? So, just like a while ago, um, uh, as I uh, taught you how to do their uh, wheelbarrows, same spot, arm around the chest, and one arm around the waist, let them put their hands down, Lift their hips up high enough for you to tuck in their head, okay? Lift the hips up, okay? Your free hand tucks in the head, gently roll them on their back, there, and try your best to uh, ask them to sit up. That's a great uh, core workout, okay? One more time, around the arm, around the chest, and by the waist. Uh, then let them put their hands down on the floor. Hips high enough for you to tuck in the head, gently roll them on their back, and sit up, okay? If they're not ready, you have an option to do their view battles. Okay? Now, for my older uh, kids, okay, parents, if you see them, okay, putting their hands down on the floor, bending their waist, for those who can already bend their waist, and uh, do the, uh, and put their hands on the floor, okay, this is their downward dogging position. Now, if that happens, what I want you to do, this is a progression, okay, one way of uh, making it uh, more challenging for them, okay, is by spotting them by their hips, if their hands are on the floor already, just gently roll them on their back, okay? Spotting by the hips and making sure that they tuck in their head. One way of uh, making sure they do this is by asking them to smell their tummies, okay? Smell your tummy, okay? All right? And uh, one chant that we uh, usually do in the little gym, okay, is this, okay? We usually do a little chant so that we know that they're doing uh, the, the four girls probably. Hands up high, touch the sky. Hands down, touch the ground. Smell your tummy. Forward roll. Okay, are you ready? So we're gonna try that out. Here we go. And then now let's do forward rolls to music. If your child doesn't want to forward roll, you can do donkey kicks or gently kick them upside down any way you like. Let's go. Here we go. Great job. Give yourselves a big hand. I'm so proud of you, everybody. Great job, parents, for helping out your kids, and great job for being so active. Don't forget to praise them for that effort. Great job. Now, we're going to proceed to our group activity. Okay, we're going to proceed to our group activity now. Okay, so for our group activity, we're going to use some sticks. Uh, use any um, available equipment you have at home. It can be wooden utensils, wooden spoons, some chopsticks, okay, anything that you have at home. Okay, so 
Parents, for this one, we will be having a proprioceptive workout, meaning we're going to do some body part awareness. We're going to focus on body part awareness. Now, the more that the children or your kids know where each body part is in relation to other body parts, they, um, they start to develop um, a sensory map of their bodies, which will be uh, very, very helpful as they become more active, as they, as they move around more. Okay? This helps them become more efficient movers so that they know that they have to land on their feet. Whenever they fall down, they have their hands put down on the floor. Okay? This will help them out um, safely uh, manipulate their bodies as well. Okay? So, today's activity is very simple. I'll be um, saying some uh, body parts out loud. Parents, I need your help. I need you to say those body parts out loud with me as well. We need to emphasize on these body parts for them to uh, remember what the body part name is and where that body part is, okay? So this will greatly help them with um, their vocabulary as well. Okay, are you ready kids? So you can use um, you can use uh, two sticks or two, um, two equipments, okay? Or you can just use one, that's okay, totally fine. It's up to you. Uh, but make sure adults, if they want to do it by themselves, Please be there to um, assist them or uh, double spot, okay? Uh, we don't want them poking their eyes or hitting their heads. Now, if uh, they still need help, double spot by putting your hands, okay, on top of their hands as they're holding onto the stick. And um, lead them, okay, to the body parts that I will be uh, leading, okay? So here we're going to go uh, uh, listen to uh, background music, okay? And we're going to start. Are you ready, guys? Okay, so first off, can you point where your nose is? Where's your nose? That's your nose. That's your nose. Okay? How about, how about your toes? Where are your toes? Toes. Those are your toes. That's it. And your knees. There we go. Your knees. How about your elbow? Elbow. How about your other elbow? Chin. Where's your chin? That's it. This time, where is your back? Can you try reaching for your back? Okay. Get it this way, though. Well. That's your back. Okay. How about where is your tummy? Where's your tummy? There we go. That's your tummy. Now this time, let's try to name not so common body parts. Okay. Let's try this one. How about your ankles? Where are your ankles? That's it. Your ankles. Good job. How about your shin? Okay, these are your shins. Yeah. Okay. How about your forearm? That's your forearm. That's your forearm. Good job. Okay. Now, this time, I need you to just get one stick. in between the palms of your hand. The palms of your hand. Okay? Now, you can even add a little uh, a little tactile stimulation by letting them roll the stick in between the palms of their hands. Okay? This is, or these are the palms of your hand. Okay? How about this time? In between your fingers. In between Okay, how about this time? Okay, parents, they might need help with this one. How about, can you put the stick in between your feet? Can you do that? And add the challenge again. Roll the stick in between your feet. Okay, roll the stick in between your feet. Great job. All right, everybody. That was a great job. Give yourselves a big, big hand. Guys. Okay, everybody, great job. So now we are going to uh, proceed with our full body three. Okay, so since today it's come to your senses, we are focusing on um, their proprioceptive sense and also their vestibular sense. That's what we're going to focus on in our three skills today. First skill that we are going to do is your upside downs. Okay, so 
uh, maybe them or putting them in an upside down position, okay, or an inverted position will help their vestibular system, okay? Now, first things first, this is a very simple skill. Remember to monitor the facial expression of your kids. If they're not comfortable, feel free to pause and uh, just try it again later, okay? So don't forget to uh, praise them and comfort them, okay? All right, so first skill is their upside down. So basically, I just want you to carry them, okay? And be sure to support their neck, okay? Support, support their neck as you go down and up, okay? Down and up, down and up, down and up, okay? So you can even do your upside downs um, for, uh, for a good 10 seconds, right? 10 or 15 seconds. That's a great way to uh, help out with uh, with their vestibular system, okay? Dip them down, okay? You can count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and up, okay? Do that for a couple of times, all right? So, for our next skill, we're gonna do some airplane swings, okay? Or um, some sack of potatoes, okay? You know this already from before, for some, okay? If you're doing this for the first time, it's the same spot as your wheelbarrows and your forwards, okay? I just want you to put your arm around your waist and by the chest, put them by your side, make them feel that they're flying around like an airplane and just swoop them around, up and down, up, down, up, and down. You can even go to the other side. Up, and down, up, and down. Zoom around the room. All right. Now, for our last skill, this is going to be a, a little bit of confidence building activity. We are going to do a super kid stunt. Okay, that's the name of the skill. A super kid stunt. By doing so, we have two options of spotting this one. Uh, just choose whichever you're comfortable with. Now, first way of spotting, you can ask them, okay, to put their tummies on your shin. I just want you to hold their hands, okay? I want you to lie down and just lift your leg up. Make sure that they're, do a, they're in a flying position, okay? Like a flying position. And down. It's gonna be a tummy workout for you as well. One more time, down, up. All right, and down. Uh, now, if you want a little bit uh, of a challenge, you can put your feet on their tummies, okay? This is just a bigger challenge for you. If you're, if you're not ready or if they're not ready, that is still going to be fine, okay? Just try it out if you want. Put your feet up, all right? You can't like a flying position, all right? Put your feet on their tummies, okay? And make sure you're holding their heads. And gently sit back up. Okay, one more time. Feet on your tummies. And lie down. Lift them up. Alright, make sure that they're flying. Okay, uh, let them stay in that position for a good five seconds. If you want a bigger touch, you can leave it. Uh, make it ten. Okay, just make sure to monitor their facial expressions, okay? That's where you'll see their comfort level. Now, if they're not ready to do it, or they're not um, willing to try, that's totally fine. Don't forget to praise them, okay? Give yourselves a big, big hand. That was a great job. And thank you, parents, for being super active and for helping um, me out and spotting your kids. Great job. Now, we're going to proceed to our ball time. Okay, here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're going to go proceed to our ball activity today, okay? So, for our ball time today, I will, I just want you to chat. It's going to be a work workout for them as well, okay? So, our first skill, okay, is letting them sit on the ball, okay? We want them to feel the unstable feeling of sitting on a round, rolling object, okay? Let them feel that. Now, spotting this, make sure they just be there. For the older kids, okay, if you can shadow spot, if they are less in the spot, that's what they find. Just make sure to be there to catch them, okay, just in case they will, okay? Make sure you're doing it on a soft mat, all right? So, we're gonna go uh, play some uh, background music, we're gonna try this out, okay? And then sit, you can spot them by their upper torso or under their elbows, okay? 
And this, just let them roll around, roll around. Make sure adults are not spotting too heavily because we want them uh, to work on those core muscles by themselves, okay? Let them try to balance by themselves, okay? You can even try to tilt them to one side and the other. One side and the other, okay? And then just go there and balance. You can even let them count. Some of them will try to do this, okay? Parents, if they're doing it by themselves, you know what? One added challenge would be by putting their feet off the floor, okay? Some of them, okay, might be uh, sitting on the ball and with their feet on the floor. Try to challenge them by putting their feet up, okay? That's uh, that's gonna uh, that's going to uh, encourage them to use their core muscles. Okay. So next skill, this time I want you to challenge them to stand up. Okay. That's good. That's kind of tricky. So I want you adults to put the ball, okay, in between your legs. Let them stand up. Okay. For my non-walkers, parents still spot them by their upper torso or under their elbows. For those older uh, kids, okay, you can just be there. You can still spot them by their upper torso or you can hold their hands. Okay. Make sure, okay, that they're uh, that they're uh, holding on and you're not carrying them too much. We okay? still want that uh, core muscle to exert effort. Okay. This is a great way to uh, let them balance. Okay? This is a great way to help them with that. Alright, there we go. Let them stand or sit. Do this a, uh, a couple of times just to help them out with core muscles and their balance. Give yourselves a big, big hand. Good job, guys. Okay, last but not the least, we are going to proceed to your favorite part, bubble tap. There we go, guys. Great job. Okay, everybody, we are going to proceed to our bubble activity. So, for today, please don't forget to prepare your bubbles. And again, bubble activities uh, greatly help them with visual tracking abilities and eye-hand coordination. So, we're going to go through some uh, different uh, vestibular uh, activities and exercises for them, okay? And also, preceptive exercises, okay? So, I will show you the three skills okay, that we will be doing for today. First skill that we want them to do while doing their bubbles, okay, is their upside down bubbles. Now, adults, I want you to carry them just like a while ago during our full body three with your upside down skills. Make sure you support the neck and then just tilt them downwards and make sure that they're in an upside down position as they try to reach and pop the bubbles, okay? So just dip them down. If you want to move them from side to side, you can as well. That's just for an added challenge, okay? For our next bubble activity, we are going to do sideways bubbles. Now, your goal is for them to face outwards or sideways. So carry them sideways like this, okay? But remember, make sure to look at their facial expression. That is your. Uh, that is uh, how you're going to know uh, if they're comfortable enough to do the activities, okay? So go put them sideways, make sure that they're facing outwards, and let them try to reach or pop the bubbles, okay? Last activity will be spinning bubbles, okay? Face them forward any way you want. You can put them on your shoulders, okay? You can put the, their tummies on top of your head if you want, okay? And uh, make sure you spin around one way and the other way, okay? For bubble activities today, I will be needing the help of my good friend, Teacher Tin. Teacher Tin, are you there? Okay, there you go. So, are you ready for bubble time? Okay, here we go, guys. Let's do some upside down bubbles. Are you ready? Go we'll tilt them back for, uh, uh, downwards and let them pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles. See the bubbles floating up in the air? Just make sure, okay? To make them feel that upside down position and let them pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles floating in the air. Okay, pop the bubbles floating. See, that's right. Okay, pop as many bubbles as you can. Put them backwards, okay? Put them up if they feel uncomfortable and then go back to that upside down position once they're ready. Okay, All right, next. Let's try sideways bubbles this time. Everybody, are you ready? Okay, put them on your side. Make sure that they're facing outwards. And just let the, another adult blow the bubbles. Let them reach for the bubbles. Pop the bubbles as they are facing sideways, okay? 
putting them in this upside down position, okay, other than their upright position, greatly helps them with their vestibular system. Okay? Here we go. Pop the bubbles. Pop as many bubbles as you can. Last one, everybody. Let's do spinning bubbles. Have fun with them, parents, okay? Pull them any way you want and spin around in a circle. Spin the other way. There we go. Good job, guys. As many bubbles as you can. There you go. Pop as many bubbles as you can. Spin them around. And the other way. Alright. And freeze. Give yourselves a big hand. Good job, everybody. Good job. That was a nice job. That, that was a nice job. Great. Great job, everybody. Give yourself a big hand. That was a great, great job in all of our activities today. Now, let's go sing our group song, which is Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Parents, if you know the song, please do sing along with me. Let's uh, do some body part awareness first before we sing this song. Can you touch your head? Where is your head? That's right. Your shoulders. Okay. Your knees. Where are your toes? How about your eyes? Where are your eyes? Your ears, your mouth, and your nose. Okay? So the song goes like this. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Eyes and ears and Great job, guys. Again, today our theme is come to your senses. We did um, three skills today, our full body three, okay? Focusing on developing their proprioceptive sense and their vestibular sense, okay? At home, adults, you can try out those three skills, okay? Your upside down tricks, your um, super kid stunt, and also your um, your airplane swings as well, okay? This uh, greatly helps them out, okay? Build, not only build confidence, okay, again, uh, developing their uh, vestibular and proprioceptive sense, okay? Now, before we go adults, okay, parents, I have a big announcement, okay? Next week, July 6th, we will be starting our live Zoom classes. That's right, okay? We are going to do our live Zoom classes starting July 6th, that is, this Monday, this coming Monday. So for any questions or inquiries, please feel free to message us on our Instagram, our Facebook account, or even drop us an email, okay? You can you can see our email in our website, um, The Little Gym Philippines, okay? So we can't wait to have you there in our Zoom classes, okay? And um, see you all next week. Thank you, everybody. So let's go play your jumps and sing our goodbye song. Here we go. Stay safe.